Well, hello guys and welcome back. So as you can tell by the title for this one, this meditation we're going to be working with Lord Asmodeus. You don't have to use a title, you can just use Asmodeus. I'd like to use Lord as a manner of respect. And whether you see him as an old god, a demon, a chin, an archangel, this is all, all going to work. <laughs> I'm getting the sense of fraud. This is all going to work equally well. Now he rules over a lot of wondering th wonderful things. But he is connected to gambling, gambling, luck, success, luxury, and the pleasures of the flesh. So we thought we would make this a fun and kind of exciting introduction to Asmodeus. Because I know if you read a lot of the um, articles on him, you're probably going to be terrified spitless of him. But he's really not all that bad. Now we are going to suggest to you, and these are just suggestions. You don't have to do do them if you don't want to that you get on super comfy clothing, you find a place to sit or lay down, turn off all your distractions, and if you want a snack or drink, have that ready. So if you need to take time, go ahead and pause and get your snack and drink and your comfy clothes, and then get yourself all settled in. Go ahead, pause if you need to. Okay, so got all those distractions turned off, everything else, great. Now we're going to begin this meditation as we begin every one, but I'll only do this as far as you can. Please don't fight your body. We're going to breathe in and then breathe out. So let's breathe in and breathe out. And doesn't that feel better? Just let all of your worries go. If you need to, there are two other things you can do. You can imagine having two bags in your hands, one in your left, one in your right, filled with your worries. And imagine we have a big fire in front of us and you can just throw those bags in the fire and watch them go whoosh and there go your worries. Or you can imagine alternatively, if that doesn't work for you, imagine you are in a tropical paradise or whatever says luxury and safety to you and you are diving into a pool of water. That usually does the trick. Okay, so we are going to meet with Asmodeus because he is very excited to meet with us. And we are going to be meeting him in a luxurious gambling casino resort. It puts all earthly ones to shame. It is so beautiful and luxurious. We walk in. The air smells just absolutely divine. And the carpets are plush. And there are all these entertainments all around us. And it's absolutely beautiful. And Asmodeus is standing there waiting to see us. And he looks just like we think he will. And he comes forward and greets us with a great big bear hug because he's absolutely charmed and excited to see us. And he says, may I show you around? And we say, of course, Asmodeus. And the first thing he does is he takes us to the buffet. And I'm getting very excited, happy energy and nods. Anything you want on is on that buffet. And I mean anything, no matter how expensive or mundane, it doesn't matter. Whatever is your chief joy and pleasure, he wants you to have that. There are any kind of drinks, any kind of foods, any kinds of candy, any kind of anything. Just we can eat as much as we want. So he has us heap up our plates and we can get our drinks. And our drinks will always refill themselves so they'll never run out. And he has us sit down in this luxurious booth. And it, it just it feels heavenly. We sink right into the booth. And we have our food. And Asmodeus is with us. And he's smiling and he says, you know, this this is my gambling casino, so you're free to indulge in any other vices you want. If you're a smoker in real life and you never do, you can smoke here or you can experiment. It is fine. This is Asmodeus. This is the one who will not judge us. He teaches us balance is what he teaches. Balance with the earthly pleasures. So we're eating our good food and drinking our good drink. And Asmodeus is so thrilled to see us. And he says, I, I'm so happy you came to the casino. You know, many people won't come to me because they're so scared of me. And he says, you really don't have to be. The only trick is to be honest with me and to admit what you honestly want. So he asks all of us, he says, no, I want you to be honest. You know, don't hide something for me and then let me, you know, find out later what you really wanted. He says, what do you want? And we can talk to him about honestly what we want. And I mean everything, guys. The perf think of the perfect kind of life we want to manifest. We can talk to him about that. We can talk to him about anything. And even if it isn't his, in his wheelhouse, he can suggest a demon, old god, whatever term you prefer that we can work with. 
So you can say you want health or wealth or happiness or whatever you want. Get as specific and detailed as you need to if you're looking for love or simply someone to cohabitate with for a while as long as the good times last. Be honest. Be absolutely honest and upfront with Ismodius, and that's what he wants from us. Also, love and respect, because the more this demon knows you, the more he is grounded to you. Or, oh god, either way, you know, he doesn't take offense very easily. He truly does not. He's an absolute sweetheart. So after we have eaten all we want, and we've drank all we want, then these luxurious desserts come out. I mean, this is fantastic, and we eat up these luxurious desserts. He says, I know, I know, we can just sit here for a while. Or, he says... Would you like to see just how luxurious this place is? And of course we would, right? So because he's a kind demon, you know, we're instantly like, oh, all, all energized and ready to go. And this place is fantastic, guys. Even, you know, the restaurant we're in is, you know, so vast that it can stretch as far as the eye can see. And he's very pleased and he's just about purring to himself and maybe he is and he's walking us through and showing us all the endless buffets and he walks us out and they have you know it's a huge huge complex there are 10 or 20 casinos and each has a different theme and they have endless slot machines and blackjack and poker and any kind of gambling you could imagine horse racing it's all good and he says, you know, these, these earthly pleasures exist to make life better and to make it more exciting. We only have to be sensible to enjoy the pleasures of, say, gambling or sex or, you know, whatever fun pleasure we're after. And so he leads us and shows us more. There are beautiful shows with amazing showgirls. There are places where there are dancers, male and female. There are all these wonderful things. There are luxurious gift shops that have one-of-a-kind handmade goods. It's just utter luxury and pleasure. And he's more than happy to have us indulge. So you can imagine we are going from shop to shop to shop, loading up on all the earthly goods we've always had our eyes on. And it's all in good fun. And it's all to get us into that wonderful mindset of being open to receive and being open to be with Asmodeus, whether you see him, you know, as demon, an angel, an old god, a chin, it's all good. He's really wonderful and loving and warm. And what he wants us to do is he takes us to yet another place. And this place is a special place where each and every one of us can think of the life we want down to the smallest detail. What kind of housing do we want? What kind of food do we want? What kind of cash flow do we want? What kind of learning do we want? Because he is a wonderful demon for continuing your education. All the things we want. And again, things like health and happiness and lovers, mates, whatever. He wants us to think of all those things, but he also wants us to be open. There are so many things that he wants to give us. Or perhaps, you know, if you want to work with Satan or Lucifer, they might want to give us, or Loki. They want to give us so much, and they want to give us things that we can't even imagine. So please be open as you listen to the following music to receive whatever blessings and gifts that they feel like giving us. And we are going to meet you guys on the other side.
well, guys, wasn't that wonderful? Didn't it really take the weight of the world off your shoulders? Now, if you have been meditating with your eyes closed, please open your eyes and sit up very slowly. You have been meditating for a while now. So you can help yourself to that drink and snack if you want to pause and refill because you've been munching along as you've been watching all this beautiful jewels fall. It is perfectly okay to do so. Now, the thing that Asmodeus would have us remember is that there's no shame in physical pleasures. There's no shame in owning beautiful things. There's no shame in having nice food and a nice house and a nice car. We only have to be open to working with Asmodeus or whoever we choose. He would love to be the one, but if he's not, he's okay with it. We have to be willing to work with them. So maybe we're going to be furthering our education Maybe we're going to be just persistent with a savings plan. Maybe we're going to just be open to working with the demons because we have done all the earthly steps already. Whatever we're going to do, just be open and just have faith that you deserve it. You know, know that you deserve these wonderful things that you want. And don't have shame, guys. Please do not have shame. Asmodeus is the demon that will make sure you don't have shame. He will be the first one to drag you to the, you know, adult titles on Steam or to take you to the buffet or to take you to the... He will zero in on the place where the finest and best food is, either on a website or on a menu or anything else. Truly believes in indulging ourselves, but in balance, in balance, you know. So he's a wonderful teacher about how to get just that right balance between indulging ourselves and going too far, indulging ourselves and emptying out our bank account. He's a wonderful teacher for that. So we hope you guys have really enjoyed this one. And like with all the other meditations, you may take an item. You can make it an imaginary item if you wish, or any item you have on hand that reminds you of Asmodeus. You, it can even be soft, cuddly plush. He doesn't mind. And you're going to take this and you're going to think of Asmodeus and he wants you to remember that anytime you hold this, that he is always with you and he really does care. You just have to be open to receiving and you have to be open to working in a partnership with Asmodeus or any other demon, old god, either way is fine to see them. You have to be, you know, willing to accept their friendship and their guidance and their teaching. And just remember, this takes time. No casino, as Asmodeus would tell us, was built in an instant. So, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later. Bye-bye.